What is going on, you guys? My name is Rage, and we are back today with a very exciting update here in regards to Marvel Strike Force and the preview of the next five characters and teams coming into the game. So they typically do this, you know, pretty soon here before they announce uh, what the kits and character releases are going to be like. But um, yeah, uh, Tana actually did a really amazing um, uh, review video on uh, these potential characters, and I do agree with each and every one of his assumptions. So I'm going to link that below if you guys want to check it out. But um, in today's video, we're going to be going through um, not just the five characters, but as well how they're going to be adding um and impacting the game going forward but um, from left to right guys we actually have nightcrawler forge sunspot all being part of this new extreme x-men team followed by then Gwenem, and then we know that the last uh, picture is symbiote surfer uh who the fans and all of the community voted for so from left to right then uh we, we respectively uh have the the new uh, mutant x-men team that's coming into the game and as well uh we were confirmed already and alluding um that there was going to be a symbiote rework and that looks like to be the case here guys so again please check out Ch tana's video uh he does an amazing breakdown of their review but as well what they could be potentially adding in terms of synergy for the team now guys um i'm more interested now how that's going to be impacting the game as well as what we can be preparing for right especially if you guys are working towards you know dark dimension six and raid teams well uh this is now giving us a really good go ahead that yes there is going to be a new mutant team coming and as well a new bio team uh two traits that we haven't had filled for quite some time in the game which is really big um i want to first talk about the symbiote team guys uh, this is a this was the OG uh, raid team that used to be valuable until Web Warriors came about. And then obviously we know Bio, um, you know, took over in terms of the Rebirth um, meta came and coming about. And now we know it's falling out, out of the meta because of how difficult the Incursion 2.2 raids have been. So it'll be interesting if this new Symbiote team will combat that or they will be in a different place in the game. Um, replacing two... You know of the same game modes um uh, with two teams con uh, um, consecutively is is pretty hard to envision because we just haven't seen that happen in the past but you never know honestly you never know but having said that guys um there are some really strong characters that previously we utilized and i definitely see some really strong um symbiote reworks happening here to a couple of these characters um mainly you know i think anti-venom is gonna make a lot of sense just because his kit has always been good um, and combined with the synergy of Carnage being able to have that term a rewind, um, the one big thing with the, this team is that they just statistically fallen out of the mana and aren't even comparable anymore. But if they got reworked and then adding in Symbiote Surfer and Gwenem, um, it's really going to well around this team. Um, having said that, I don't know if I could see Agent Venom being part of this new Symbiote team just because he was part of Rebirth. But it will be very, very interesting if he obviously gets reworked and uh, modified so that he has additional value once again. Um, would love to definitely see that for sure and then obviously venom being an og character uh in the game as well um having value i think symbiote spider-man was definitely one of the best characters in the game at his time so if he can get some love that would absolutely be huge many folks likely already have him at high yellow and red stars and built up but just again the fact that he fell out, uh, out of the meta and then with the ever-changing uh raid team so that's gonna be very interesting guys i think the symbiote is gonna get some much needed love here especially with symbiote surfer how he's gonna synergize and provide value but uh really really big for sure now guys um with respect to the x-men team i think this one's going to be an even broader uh you know addition that's coming to the team right um the x-men uh the extreme x-men team is going to have you know those five prominent members kind of like what we're seeing with uh, superior six but what many folks and myself are foreseeing is that there's going to be a lot of reworks happening to the broader x-men um team and family here as a whole just because many of these characters have fallen out of the meadow i mean we got the uncanny x-men here we have astonishing x-men and obviously we have an limited x-men and we're adding in the extreme x-men in my honest opinion i definitely see a very potential huge rework here coming to many of these characters similar to what we saw with sinister six and superior six uh, the uh developers saw the the amount of feedback and reception that was felt by that rework so i definitely foresee this being a very very big rework happening um so hold back on the investing of these characters because a more likely than not many of these characters are going to get some much additional love here reworks i definitely see um especially characters that have been kind of recurring in the teams for quite some time i think beast is an obvious one he can be slotted into the multitude of different x-men teams it really does make sense that he's part of this um extreme x-men team but we'll see uh what time comes perhaps they uh give some much needed love to characters that have fallen significantly i mean 
more specifically the ones that have charges built previously i think cyclops and storm have always had a good kit it's just unfortunate that they fell on the meta quite some time um another big one as well that i'm hoping for is phoenix obviously she still has value in dark dimension given her utility but just statistically my goodness um she always just drops no matter what in, in a shot or two uh, an attacker or two just because of how weak she is compared to where the current game is in terms of stats so it would be amazing if characters like these um that i mentioned will get some much needed love here just to get that rework i think it would be absolutely huge guys but yeah um that's a quick preview right now what's to come guys we'll obviously keep you up to date i suspect that this is going to be released in the upcoming blog post this week they typically do so um when they're releasing something this early in the week especially as a preview on their um their social media so let me know what you guys think in the comments below but definitely always exciting times when we can get some new character additions especially knowing now um that they are very well capable of making a massive rework like what we saw with sinister six and now they're one of the best teams in the game across all game modes so there you guys have it thank you as always do appreciate you guys following along and i'll keep you guys up to date as always thank you and see you guys in the next one